Hi, this is Susan here with your CMBA weekly video update. Today I'd like to provide you some information on uh, a compliance issue relative to a bill that passed in California last year. It was AB 1599, which was called the Foreclosure Foreign Language Translation Bill. And uh, that bill requires foreclosing financial institutions to provide borrowers with a copy of recorded notice of default or recorded notice of sale in, uh, in addition to English in one of the five uh, foreign language uh, translations that are noted in the bill. Those languages are Spanish, Chinese, Tagalog, Vietnamese, and Korean. Uh, the bill also uh, required that the Department of Corporations actually create those translated summaries and provide them to financial institutions via their website. So that uh, those translated documents are now available if you go to the Department of Corporations website. It's through a uh, revised release 65FS and within that release it will give you the link to um, their site where you can access those translated summaries. Uh, we also have the link in the video description below uh, for this video or you can simply email me susan at cmba.com I'd be happy to send you the link that bill became effective uh, provisions of that bill become effective April 1 of this year so um, you might want to make sure that you have access to those translated summaries and um, and that you are complying by the uh, the deadline date implementation date of April 1 I also want to take a moment to announce a couple of our uh, free regional networking events that are coming up. Uh, we have several planned at the beginning of this year, and the first of which is on February 21st. That's at Palmer, Lombardi, and Donahue in Los Angeles. And the second event that we have is March 7th at Severson and Worsen in San Francisco. I want to thank our member companies that are acting as hosts for those regional networking events. I uh, encourage all of you to take a look at your calendar, see if you can attend. You can register on the conferences page at cmba.com. We also have some, some sponsorship opportunities available for those networking events. So if you are a member of CMBA and you're interested in being one of the sponsors, um, send me an email, susan at cmba.com, and I can talk with you about what sponsorship opportunities are available for those events. Uh, next week, I'm going to be uh, giving you some more information on two of our upcoming conferences. One is March 11th, a CFPB symposium in the uh, San Francisco Bay Area, Bay Area. And the second is, our, uh, is March 19th, our annual Legislative Day in Sacramento. And I'm hoping that you can join us for both of those important events. Uh, but that is all for this week, and we will see you next time.